When's the last time that you wrote down an idea, a reminder, or scheduled your week with pen and paper instead of doing it digitally? Maybe for some of you it was five minutes ago, but for some it could have been five months, maybe even five years ago. We live in a highly stimulated digital world in 2023. Literally, there are so many forms of entertainment, distractions, information, and etc., all vying for your attention every single hour of the day. And so writing things down in today's society might seem like an archaic and useless notion, but I'm here to explain why I believe this isn't true. I wanna go through a few reasons why I love to personally use pen and paper over using my phone, and I also want to express some of the positive effects that I believe that it can have on your life as well. Thank you so much to all my members and patrons. If you'd like to become a member, you can get access to our Discord, you get early access to videos, you get your name up here in the video as well. I really do appreciate it. And we're gonna be starting our first live stream here in the channel with the new content. Uh, hopefully in a week or so once this video is released, uh, but Make sure to check out the memberships down below. I do really appreciate all of you. I can't go any farther without saying that I acknowledge that digital media, technology, and software are definitely beneficial in today's world. I, won't, I don't want you going away from this saying that I think all technology is bad, but I do want you to understand that over the last six to eight months of my life, I've started to live a more simple and more unplugged life. And by doing this, I've seen so many benefits. I really, really feel passionate about what I'm sharing with you today and what I will continue to share here in the channel and in my blog. The first reason that I love using pen and paper to write things down instead of my phone is it gets me off of this, this device, this phone, okay? This device right here can be such a problem in my life, but also I imagine it could be a problem in yours as well. Obviously, again, this device is useful. It can make calls, it can get you places, it can get you information that you need. So again, I'm not trying to say that it is useless or anything like that, but let's be real here. Never in a thousand years did you imagine a phone that could literally be a computer in your pocket. It's a shopping website in your pocket. It's a map in your pocket. It's a bank in your pocket. It's depression in your pocket. It's a vice that can be in your pocket. I can go on and on about what a phone is to people, but I want to challenge you today. I want you to take one day this week and I want you to look around as you're going to work, as you're going to school, you know, as you're at the gym, you know, picking your kids up from the carpool line, wherever you're at in public, I want you to take one day this week coming up and I want you to count how many times that when life is stopped or idle, you see people on their phone. I have literally noticed this so much, the more and more that I've gotten off of my phone that when I'm at a stoplight, literally everyone's looking at their phone. When you're at the lobby of a car dealership, everyone is on their phone. When you're in a restaurant waiting in line to order, everyone is on their phone. It is like a addiction. It is insane how much people are looking at this screen all the time. I mean, just pull up your screen time and see how much time you're spending on your phone each day. It's crazy. So I, I challenge you this week to take a day and notice that and observe that and count how many people that you see do that all the time. So why are people always looking at this device? Because they are so stimulated and they need to look at something at their phone constantly because their brain is so used to being stimulated by something on their phone. That could be social media, that could be YouTube, that could be TikTok, that could be many other things, right? Phones used to be used to just call people. Now they are consuming people. So why do I write down notes on my, uh, like on a piece of paper, like in my calendar, wherever on a, you know, a hard copy piece of notes? Why do I do that? Because it doesn't allow me to get distracted on this device, right? I don't have to go to the notes in my phone because let's think about this a second. How many times have you went to do something on your phone and it was something that you needed to do productive, but an hour later, you're watching reels or TikToks of some dude in the woods building a pool out of mud and sticks. I mean, guys, I've watched it. I've went down those rabbit holes. 
it's crazy it, it, it literally just like draws you and distracts you so much so why put your notes on a device that's already consuming so much of your life and some of you might be like well I have reminders on my phone that are really helpful and you know different calendar notifications and again I'm not saying that there aren't useful things that you can put on your phone I'm not saying that you can't use reminders or anything like that but I'm just saying give it a shot for like a week or two where you write reminders you write things on your calendar you write notes on a piece of paper and just see the difference that it makes I, I, I'm telling you you will notice that you are not spending as much time on your phone now I get like if you have to write a quick note in your phone and you don't have a piece of paper around that makes sense right I do that too but I challenge you guys and gals to do this to see how it affects your life for at least two weeks or so. Another reason that I suggest writing things down is it helps me remember things more effectively. So in regards to writing tasks or a to-do list, I would much rather have a physical copy of what I need to do in front of me than in my phone. I've got this legal pad right here that I use every week that I update every week. And when I think of something, what I do is, is I write it down on this and as the day goes on, I might add to this or as the week goes on, I might add to this. But then when I do tasks, I then cross them out and it allows me to see what tasks I've done for that week and which ones I need to keep pushing to the next week. There's a website I'm going to link here and it's called Psychology Today. I'll have the article down below, but they have an article on four reasons why writing down things on paper still reigns supreme. In their article, they have a study that was conducted by the University of Tokyo and it shows four reasons why writing down things is still better for you, like I just mentioned. One of the benefits it says is that writing by hand is associated with stronger neural encoding and memory retrieval, which how I understand it is they're basically saying it is better to take handwritten notes versus digital ones because you can recall them easier if you write them down. Another interesting one is they said that jotting things down on paper is faster. They timed the students that were participating in the study, which I think is really fascinating, honestly. And I'm sure you could probably find numerous other studies backing this up as well. Um, because I, I feel like I remember my teacher saying in like high school or middle school or just someone telling me it growing up that like when you write things down it just like registers better and i understand that people learn in different ways but i will say that it does seem like when i do write them down it, it's out of my mind you know what i mean i'm getting it out on paper and so i don't forget it right i don't i don't lose it in my mind but again i'm gonna link that article down below so you guys can check that out as well going off this previous point another reason i like writing down things instead of putting them in my phone is it gets you a tangible physical element of checking off tasks that you complete or do i can't tell you how much i really enjoy this it's just like when you mark something off it, it just it does something right like when you have five of seven tasks for your week crossed off it brings you a sense of accomplishment it brings you satisfaction it allows you to see tangible and genuine progress that you are making through your life these feelings i think can really help motivate you and give you confidence it's reinforcement that you are completing tasks and again that you're progressing through life i'm telling you try this for a week or two and let me know the effect it has on your life. Another thing that it can do with this is it can indirectly help you um, identify maybe some tasks that you have been putting off for some time and maybe taking a little too long to do. Like if you see the same thing on your list three weeks in a row, maybe that means that the task isn't actually that important or maybe you should address it sooner rather than later and it can help you identify like maybe why you're putting this task off. Another reason that I like writing things down instead of putting in my phone is you get to use cool pens. Look at this pen. This pen is a tool pen, T-U-L. This thing is awesome, guys. I it, it, it literally writes so well. And I know that seems crazy. I also have a concrete pen that my boss gave me. It's literally made out of concrete. And I'm buying another pen. Don't tell Dave Ramsey. But I literally love using cool pens. And again, I don't want to encourage you to make bad decisions and buy $25 pens or $80 pens or $45 pens or $90 pens. But it would be pretty cool if you guys bought a pen because I'm telling you, trust me, you'll like it. And who knows, maybe if I can get more people to write things down, we can get more people on this pen and paper team. Hashtag pen and paper. 
Going along with this point though, it also helps you have a personal touch to your notes, reminders, or calendar. You can use different color pens or highlighters. You can have your own style with it. You can practice writing neat notes that look satisfying to the eye. You can have your own personal method of planning out your life or week visually that works for you. I don't know if you've ever looked at someone's desk or whiteboard or notes that they have on their desk at work, but I have, not in a creepy way, but I really have noticed how someone organizes and how neat their desk is put together and how their notes look so neat with their handwriting and it's just so pristine. And sometimes people have their own way of planning out their calendar in their notes and honestly it's really cool and it's really infectious. It makes me want to strive to have my own way that I plan things out. Today literally at work one of my employees had their personal calendar and they had things uh, written out and in uh, colors and highlighters and it was really really cool and it just makes you at least me it makes me want to have a method to the madness or a, a organization to my calendar into way uh, a way that i can you know interpret it that fits the way that i enjoy um planning things out so I believe that this really can have a positive effect on you uh, by writing these things down using different colors, highlighters, and it's just kind of fun. I mean, maybe I'm just weird and I just like this kind of stuff, but it really does bring me enjoyment. Something else that I'm finding out or realizing when it comes to the benefits of writing things down versus putting them in my phone is it slows down my life. It gets me out of the constant need to be rushing everywhere at 100 miles per hour. Generally speaking, I do things in life at a pretty quick pace. I like to be efficient, I like to get things done in time, but with those uh, personality traits and a world that is so much about efficiency and rushing to the next best thing, I find that writing things down somehow just slows down my life. I'm not sure if it's because when you write things down, you're just sitting there and thinking about what you need to write, or maybe it's just because when you're sitting there and you're texting someone, you're usually trying to text someone and, uh, really quickly and you're in a rush. And so when you go put notes in your phone, you try to rush through it so you can get to the next thing. I'm not really sure what it is about writing things down, but something about having that pen and paper or calendar just seemingly doesn't make me want to rush. And I think that's again, because of maybe the finished product of seeing your handwriting on notes, seeing things crossed off, seeing things customized the way that you want. And again, just the physical act of writing things down is satisfying. Seeing it in front of your eyes, checking on tasks, looking at your calendar, it's just satisfying. The last thing that I believe that really drives me to write things down is the ability to write handwritten notes to friends and loved ones. Handwritten notes just hit different, okay? I don't know if you've ever received one or if you've ever written one to someone, but they take time to write, you know? They take effort to write. And I believe that because it takes effort to write these and uh, it, it takes time, that is what's so satisfying when you give that handwritten note to someone. Sure, sending like a sweet text or an email, might still have a positive effect and can still do wonders in someone's life. Again, I'm not disregarding, you know, digital messaging, right? But when you receive a handwritten note or write a handwritten note to someone else, it just feels different. I mean, I can't explain it, but it just feels different. Heck, I even bought my own wax seal stamp kit on like Amazon for like 20 something dollars. That might seem crazy, but it's just fun. Like you melt the wax, you pour it on the envelope and you stamp it and it's the letter of my last name, yeah, first letter of my last name. And you know, you obviously don't see that anymore except for maybe in wedding invitations or something very, very formal. But I believe we should bring that back more. You know, why don't we do these kind of things anymore? And so write a handwritten note to someone next week, you know, write one next month, write one to your mom, your dad, your, your sister, your brother, maybe a friend, your wife, your husband, you know, whatever you may, whoever you want to write one to write one and just see kind of what it does in their life. I, I really think it will have an effect that is positive and it might surprise them be like, what is this? There could be so many other reasons why I could tell you guys and gals uh, the reason that you should write things down instead of putting it in your phone or in a digital area. Um, there really is, but I don't have time to go into every single one, obviously. Uh, but 
I know again that technology has its uses. I'm not denying that, but I really believe that getting your ideas, your thoughts, your plans, and et cetera, down in a physical notebook, calendar, or notepad will really work wonders in your life. I understand that not everyone wants to do this or thinks that it will be beneficial, but I encourage you to at least give it a shot again for about two weeks. Go and buy a legal pad, a notebook, a physical calendar, and try it. But try this out, and again, report back to me in the YouTube comments, report back to me in my future blog website. Shout out to my future blog website that is not up yet, but it will be up soon. Let me know on that website and in the comments on what kind of effect this had on your life. Did you get off your phone more? Did it slow down your life some? Did it bring satisfaction seeing that list being checked off each week? Let me know down below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help us out in the channel and get this content out. And thank you again to all my viewers and my members, y'all. I really do appreciate all of you. But until next time, y'all, I will see you guys on the next video. Happy writing.